Hello and welcome to Slightly Impressive Grave Robbery. My name is Grifter and we are playing Tomb Raider. I am so excited to play this game. It seems like it took forever to come out. I played I played through about an hour of it so far, but we're gonna start all over and I'm bringing you with me. Let's get started. A famous explorer once said. Just some explorer. The extraordinary is in what we do. Some generic famous Not explorer. Who we are. I finally set out to make my mark. To find adventure. But instead. Adventure found me. Dun dun dun. Crap. In our darkest moments, when life flashes before us, she's very reflective while she's drowning. We find something. Oh, she drowned. Something Game over. That keeps us going. Just kidding. She's okay. Something that pushes us. All right, who broke the boat in half? That'll ruin your day. And now we're drowning again. But really, all the best games start out with drowning. I mean, now we're drowning more dramatically. Okay. Yeah, put some pressure on him. He's got his own problems. Just leave him alone and put some pressure on him. And sucker punch. Okay. I'm glad, I'm glad the subtitles are providing all of the sounds for us in text form. It's very helpful, don't you think? I mean, I never would have known that was a creaking rope. you get so dirty and upside down well as shipwrecks go this one could have gone better all right so it starts swinging Bam. There we go with setting things on fire. As you'll quickly figure out in this game, setting everything on fire is almost always the answer. Even if it means setting yourself on fire. Like this. Yep. That could not have gone any better. All right, we mash it. We mash the eat a pool. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it says mash. It makes me laugh every time. 
it could just say push the button repeatedly and sometimes it does say things like that sometimes it's like no mash it you gotta mash it really mash that button Oh good. No, no. I was hoping there'd be bodies and candles and what is this place? Spooky things everywhere. What happened to you? I think she's dead. I don't think she can hear you. A torch. Oh, oh right. Torch. Okay. Good, we've got fire. We can solve so many problems with fire, like this one. Very nice. Oh, freaking waterfall. Putting out my torches. Alright, press Q to examine the environment. This is her special spidey sense here. It's pretty helpful in survival situations and creepy kidnapping situations. It helps to know exactly what is best to be setting on fire. Like that. You would think setting off an explosion in the ground would be a bad thing, but nope. That is exactly what needs to happen right now. Oh jeez. Mash him. Mash him. Yeah. Oh, that was close. Oh shit, that was close. Yeah, I'm sure you were just trying to help me. Just keep moving. So it's a little weird how you just kind of she just kind of takes control for a while, and then it's like, oh, okay, now you're controlling her again, like now. Keep going. Oh, waterfall again. It's amazing how water keeps putting out fire. Alright, now I know exactly what to do here, but the first time I came through, totally did not see this one. Didn't set enough things on fire, that's the moral of the story. It's a nice, easy puzzle to start out with, and I failed hard. Hope I actually. Yeah, I think that's what you do. Jump up here. No, I did it wrong. That's stupid. Okay, okay. So you set these on fire, and they collect here. Right, right, and then lift them up. And they go in that thing. And she runs so slow. I mean, I know you've got a horrible stab wound, but come on. It's kind of urgent. Alright, so push the fire down there, set some more things on fire. Like I said, it solves all the problems. Gotta get out of here. This isn't really the story of a tomb raider, it's the story of a deranged pyromaniac. Okay, okay. Dramatic music, that means we need to get going. Whoa! 
Super Mario 64 flashbacks. And a pirate ship. Sometimes you just gotta dodge a pirate ship underground. Whoa. You again? Seriously? I'm gonna mash you. Yeah. Yeah, you've just been mashed. Okay. Definitely didn't pull that one off so flawlessly the first time either. I was the one getting mashed that first time. Okay. I promise I'm not going to spend this whole time just talking about Oh man, the first time I played this was so awesome. I didn't really get that far. Alright. Here we go, climbing like a boss. Ain't no rocks going to keep me from mashing. Go, go, go. Go, go. I'm, I'm mashing too fast. She's just kind of spazzing me instead of climbing. Go, go, go. Come on. Go into the light! Did I make it? Yes! Yes I did. Man, you really need a shower. But our hair looks amazing. Now take a look at our new home. I'm expecting polar bears and the others to show up any second. Although I guess we, we kind of already ran into the others. Beautiful. I do really, really like that little logo thing there. That's pretty cool. Okay, lots of wrecked ships. So, at least they're not the only ones, right? Let's just stop and give this tree a hug real quick. The lifeboat. Where are they? They must have gone inland. Right here is where I would just be done. Just be like, nope, okay. not walking across that. Take it slow. I'll take my chances with crazy cult leaders and hanging upside down and being on fire. I'm, nope, not walking across here. Although, fear of heights is not irrational. It's... What, what is it? It's like the, the number one leading cause of non-fatal injuries. Accidental falls are. It's not irrational. Totally rational to be afraid of heights. Heights kill people. Or at least non-fatally injure them. I'm just saying. Okay. Just in case the comparison to Lost wasn't quite strong enough. We gotta have a plane hanging from a waterfall thing. I can do this. So yeah, of course, let's just climb it. That's the best course of action here. I mean, we don't have a way to set it on fire, so... What am I doing? Okay. Might as well just put ourselves into harm's way for no good reason. Oops. Come on! There we go. Come on! Now what? Jump across. Alright. Oh. Just another of many, many falls. Nothing to worry about here. All 
right. Wall scramble. It's something I wish I could do in real life. Sam's pack. Oh hey, let's just fall on down there. Okay. They must have come this way. Oh, let's do some vlogging. It's a pretty exciting time. Sam? Roth? Be vlogging. Can anyone hear me? I mean, that's what I would do if I were to find them. crashed on an island. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just try to find our friends instead. Or it will fall. Is that what's supposed to happen? Okay. Alright then. Oh, let's use our our superpowers here. Looks like something good up there we need to go to. Like it. Is anyone listening? Please respond. Well, you know what solves every problem. Wait for it. I think you know where this is going. It's gonna be really anticlimactic when it happens. You only got one match. Don't mess up. That's right, fire. Okay, wasn't that worth it? It's a fantastic joke. I'm so funny. Not sure that's a real radio. It's awful pixelated. Well, might as well start vlogging, right? Right? No? We'll just watch somebody Here's else's the soon vlog. To be world famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt. For the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to worry about the ship breaking sure. in half. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you, you got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? Come on, tackle it! How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? Yeah, how can you that suggest that? Funding us? I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamata... No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, Laura says it is. books never found Yamata. I've talked to Laura about this. There's no Lara, point in following in Lara. other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch 
I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? <laughs> Got 30 years experience. This guy's my PhDs, favorite character here. He's Superman. Man. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. That's a ship. Don't yeah, it's a ship. Look, you know going east will take us directly him, into guy. the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm a stereotypical geek. Say she could I'll be handling storms. all the computer this things and wearing all of the glasses. Some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously you know, Yeah, it is it's, it's wet, right. he can we sail on it. We don't have the funds to fish about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? I don't know. Why are you here? I think you're just here to be at odds with Lara. we're gonna wrap it up here for this first episode thank you so much for watching we're definitely gonna continue on so i'll see you next time okay bye